Hello everyone and welcome to your Aries New Moon wishes for April the 15th, 2018. The Aries New Moon sign readings of course are all about the equinox energy. So whether you're in the southern hemisphere and this is your harvest season or this is the uh, vernal equinox for you, the spring equinox in the northern hemisphere that is um, initiating your new year energy what you're planting what you're sowing at this particular time it's a very auspicious moment so wanted to take a moment to let you know some of the things that great mother has been seeding in and through me to and for you these new moon wishes i am taking the time to actually write out suggested new moon wishes for you if you're not familiar with working with new moon energies or how to work with them it's basically really being clear about what your intentions are writing them out no more than 10 and you want to be sure that they're individual wishes so for say for example you want to go out and have more fun and you want to make more friends as an example those are two wishes and they need to be separate so I want to go out and have fun is one wish and I want to make new friends the second wish not sure exactly why it doesn't work when they're combined it may have something to do with dictating how we want our blessings to come to us which really does stagnate the manifestation process the other thing that you want to keep in mind when you work with your new moon wishes is that they are just for you. We don't make wishes for other people. Again, imposing our will in that space of creation is an energy that we really want to avoid because it attracts that energy to us. So to maintain our autonomous divinity in a way that is pure, in a way that is clear, clearly channeled, we want to keep that wish for us, for ourselves, those wishes just for us. We can introduce the process to others at any time. And you want to just write them down, not meditate on them, but do put them away so that you can later reflect on them as your lunar cycles progress. You can come back and reflect on what has manifested. You'll begin to be very astonished by how quickly things do come into manifestation working with your new moon wishes. And so you won't have to look back at it very often. What you will discover is that things that do not manifest will probably be because they were somehow combined or they, they are very core issues that you're working with and working through. So those are just some hints. I'll give you some more kind of rules uh, of the road in terms of working with that. As G Jane Spiller says, I'm one of her uh, students working with uh, Lunar Energies. And so that will be on your link to the blog on greatmotherspeaks.info. Suggested new moon wishes for your moon sign. Speaking of the vlog, this new lunar year for Aries moon sign people your video has already been posted and so it talks about for each of you when your new moon comes each year what great mother is coming through and saying will be some of your challenges and all of the energy that's available for you to actually feel the support of your divinity throughout the year and so it's a very interesting uh, look at how to plan for the year coming up this is what you've probably heard me refer to as when the sun is in your moon sign this happens once a year when the sun is traveling through your moon signs constellation and when the moon it becomes new and that sign is your lunar new year again we all have our own houses, the own, our own degrees of when our moon came in. You may not have been born during the new moon in Aries, obviously. You could be born in November and your moon was a full moon. Well, if it was a full moon, it was in September, for example, because that is the Aries full moon. And so your Aries moon might actually be there. And so that's where the personal readings come into play. These are general readings about the general energy. So remember to book at greatmotherspeaks.info. And speaking of that, this month until the 30th, there is a sale on readings. All our readings, Great Mother Speaks readings, your moon sign readings that are normally 85 and the hour readings that are normally 65, Great Mother Speaks readings, they're all $50. So 
that is an encouragement to really get some information about this very auspicious season to help you kind of jumpstart the year for you uh, in terms of planning this planting season. The moon is really, really important with regard to planting and harvesting. Um, want to be sure that you also know that the Mama Drama Trauma website is finally up. So mamadramatrauma.info is up and ready to go. I want to let you know about the support group. This is a group that is using the Great Mother Speaks Oracle deck as a coaching tool to really support the general welfare of survivors of Mama Drama Trauma. In my coaching work, I have found that supplemental support throughout the week is very useful. And in joining a group um, in kind of the pilot experiments that I've had so far has really proved quite powerful. So it's very limited, small group. Um, and so I think five is the maximum that we're just starting out with <clears throat> because we do really work through some of the principles and share ourselves anonymously through audio um conferencing. So it's 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 an opportunity for you at uh, mamadramatrauma.info, which is the sister site to great motherspeaks.info, both of which are on the home site of themotherbond.com. So if you're just generally kind of rolled up on Great Mother Speak and you're like, what the heck is going on? Check out themotherbond.com. It's just a general overview of what we're talking about in terms of maternal, yin, Holy Spirit energy, and how it manifests as the good, bad, and divine mother in each and every one of us, in each and every way. And to get a little bit more understanding about how to work with this energy and insight about um, just really how we experience that energy and why we experience it in the various ways that we do. Those are just uh, really getting started up. But I um, want to let you know about that. Um, and last but not least, these new moon readings that you're watching are readings that are basically going to amplify, enhance, really refine and focus your understanding of what Great Mother's messages were for, throughout the second quarter readings. Now, we just had our second quarter readings posted for April to June. So the general three-month period, we have fourth of the year. We did January to March, the first quarter, just overall what's going on during those lunar cycles. Now, just posted are the second quarter readings that are all about what's happening up until June. Now, we have a respite the second quarter from eclipses. We are still in Leo North Node, Aquarius South Node, and the Western, and Cancer North Node, or Rahu, and K2 Capricorn in the Sidereal. But we are having some reprieve, no activity going on until the end of July, which will be the third quarter. So this reflection period is really important when I come in with the shorter messages new moon, full moon messages, April, May, and June, to further refine your understanding and expand on what she was saying. However, if you have not watched those videos or you picked up something that you think that you want to go back and reflect on, again, the link is below to your second quarter readings. Well, I really, really do hope that you enjoy them. Remember, the second quarter readings do have a 25-minute introduction for people to understand what these readings are about, who Great Mother is speaking to, and how to use these readings to know the difference between your emotional voice and when Great Mother is speaking to you. So we took some time on those second quarter readings to do that. So if you've already listened to that, remember fast forward to about 27 minutes at the beginning of your second quarter reading. So with no further ado, here from me to you are your April 15th Aries New Moon readings from Great Mother Speaks. Hello, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Moon people, Scorpio in your sidereal, Sagittarius in the Western. Welcome to your new moon in Aries message from Great Mother. Great Mother is really coming through this season to emphasize and amplify our unique expression, our unique creativity. And for you, Sagittarius, Moon people, with the Aries being in your fifth house, it's 
all about that creative expression, all about how you are having fun, how you are maybe even dating. Maybe you are actually dealing with some type of creative project or performance of some kind. So this season is really bringing that up for you with this new moon going forward to plan and to actually develop ways that you want to do that uh, from a complete blank screen or, 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 or blank sheet of paper, which is what the new moon really represents, right? It's black, it's dark, it's, it's a new slate. And for some of us, we have already started projects and some of you have already started to pursue what you want, but you just have like this, this wisdom about how to revamp it, about how to redo it going forward. And so Great Mother's coming through and she's saying that you are totally open to the process, Sagittarius Moon people. You are totally open to allowing yourself to pursue what it is that you know that you need to pursue. And so you already know what that project is. You already know what that idea is. It's not something that you're having to come up with. It's something that in fact, you want so much, you're willing to do what it is that you need to do to fulfill it. You're open to that. Your heart is open to it. That heart chakra, that ego soul alignment, that crossroads between our ego and the soul. So your ego is uploading to the soul this openness and you are intuiting that the soul is very much receptive to how you're feeling. And so you are actually riding this wave of energy. You're actually Actually feeling angelic support and so sometimes you might get an unction that a door has been opened for you to fill out an application to do something and you didn't even know this creative uh, opportunity existed maybe something like that has happened for you uh, Sagittarius moon people where you were introduced to a particular program or a person or a situation that's really opening doors to allow you to express this creativity that you know it's time for you to do and so living in loving detachment is all about being detached from a perceived outcome but trusting the process trusting the relationship living in loving detachment with mama drama trauma is all about accepting our mothers that we have and releasing the mother that we want to have and so sometimes when we are allowing ourselves to be open to something we can feel that energy too we can feel that okay i know that i'm pursuing what i want but i know anything's possible that's where you are uh emotionally Sagittarius moon people and great mother is saying that what's going to actually facilitate you in pursuing it to the degree that is going to support you in manifesting what you're visualizing is to release the illusion that any person or situation has any more power over you than you have of yourself dear one Remember the three principles that were introduced and explained in detail in that 25 minute introduction of the second quarter reading that talked about us being dearly loved children of the Great Mother Father God as the first and foremost principle of Great Mother Speaks Readings. Understanding that and that we are never judged or condemned or left alone. We have the power in our lives to fulfill what it is we've been inspired to fulfill. And so by releasing the illusion that you do not, you're going to tap into that higher wisdom even more. And by doing that, it's going to facilitate a level of self-care, self-nurturing, self-soothing, and self-love that you've never experienced before, Sagittarius Moon people. Great Mother is saying that it is time to reground yourself in this knowing of what your creative expression is, to reground yourself in a self-acceptance on a level that you have not been able to do, perhaps due to an attachment to a person or a situation that the angels are not now assisting and facilitating you to release that sense of power that they may have over your life through self-mothering. So you'll be mothering yourself. You'll be taking care of yourself. Those, proje those projected needs and wants onto others to fulfill, uh, perhaps psychically knowing what your needs are. You know, sometimes we'll have an attitude, well, they should know how I feel. You know, they know, you know, they should do this, they should do that. And 
It really does get us wound up sometimes, doesn't it? And it doesn't allow us to be open. So you've grown past that. And what Great Mother is saying is that now it's time for you in the full moon light of that awareness, implement some of those self-caring things that only you know are good for you. Taking care of that diet the way that you want to, you know, bringing in some of those things that you want to consume more of and have more around you, be it in an actual um, eating diet or in your uh, self-care diet of, you know, how you are caring for yourself and the products that you use and how you dispose of them and how you, you know, live your life. That is the self-mother. That's the regrounding, not so much from our conditioning and our education, but from what we have learned in our own process and what we are intuiting from our higher self, angels, guides, and ancestors. Sagittarius moon people, you're also very much approaching this Aries new moon with an attitude of processing. It's like, okay, so this is where I've been and this is where I'm going type of energy. And so what is this threshold? What am I going into? And you are processing all of this with an energy and a realization that there's this every mother energy that is around you, of people who have your best intentions at heart, but may not fully understand or appreciate what that creative expression is that you're moving forward to with this full gusto. And so you're kind of processing and kind of seeing how you can balance all of this right now, because there is a sense that you have gone through a lot to come to this conclusion. This isn't willy nilly, but because others may not be able to fully appreciate it, the angels are assisting you with the self-acceptance that you need to stay on path. The transformational opportunity that you have to do this, Sagittarius Spoon people, is to actually awaken to the choice that you have to either go back into past default behaviors or to continue on with this energy of openness that you have. There is some trepidation about moving forward past the expectations and understanding of others, but you have already awakened. And so the transformative process is to make a decision to plant the seed going forward in this new moon phase toward your default or toward who you are becoming. So that is your transformative opportunity is to actually consciously pull up that internal seed, bring that internal seed down of what you know that creative function and inspiration to be for you, that intention to be for you, and actually see that into your life through how you are feeling on a daily basis. And so balancing from a visceral response level, what those boundaries need to be during this new moon as you plan, Sagittarius Moon people, moving forward with your creative expression. As you plan going forward, on a gut level, that instinctual survival level, what does feel good to you? What does feel right? What environment, what relationships do feel supportive to you are going to allow you to have the energy amplified and enhanced around you that supports you and your regrounding of who you are in the world as a unique creative soul. This boundary issue is all about the self-mothering issue, isn't it? Because boundaries are basically what's okay and what's not okay. Our emotions are basically what makes us happy, what makes us sad, what makes us, uh, what fulfills our desires and what doesn't fill our desires, what makes us feel that our desires will be fulfilled and what makes us feel that they won't. We may not always be right, which is why boundaries are constantly shifting. The shifting sands of boundaries. Now, they don't shift in a willy-nilly way, but they do shift when we change. They do shift when our understanding shifts. And the balsamic moon is telling us in this card, Sagittarius moon people, that there are downloads, there are new understandings that you have received. And as a result of that, it is time for you to draw new boundaries based on your choice to plant a seed and moving forward. So now, during this new moon, the new moon card in the gut chakra phase, Sagittarius moon people, what does feel right to you now? What does feel genuine and appropriate for you now? Not last month or three months ago, but now as you are open to doing 
what you know that you need to do on an intuitive level to follow through with your creative intentions. What is okay and what's not okay? That's your threshold. You're crossing from what was in the past okay to what is okay now. What did I desire in the past that I no longer desire now? And moving toward those with an attitude of wellness. Health, happiness, and wholeness are our birthrights as dearly loved children of the great mother, father, God. And the wellness card from the new moon card of boundaries is telling us that as you implement those boundaries, that great mother's coming through and giving you confirmation that is exactly what is needed to implement the awakening that you now have, you will experience an overall general feeling of wellness that you don't need to ask anyone of anything because you are within yourself giving yourself what you need by connecting with great mother angel guide and ancestor energy to love yourself in the moment as you need to be cared for to be healthy happy and whole in your heart that ego soul alignment coming to full illumination. This is so beautiful for you Sagittarius Moon people. Your outcome is that as a result of this, you will have learned something new about living the law. And the law truly is that ego soul alignment, that ego soul alignment that comes through releasing the illusion that you have from your higher self, this new moon period, from your gut knowing of what threshold is now new for you, what new boundaries are going to facilitate the release of this illusion as you awaken and planting the seeds of what your new self is. Take care of yourself. Love yourself through your creative process. I can't wait to see what that is going to be for you because it is so lovingly supported and confirmed by Great Mother. Thank you so much for watching, sharing, and liking. But above all and most of all, remember Great Mother loves you, and I do too.